Hey everyone, Zephyr here, and welcome back to The Sims 2. Today we are doing a speed build of 40 Woodland Drive in Pleasant View. It's the home I always move the oldies into, and this time is no exception. As you can see, the oldies are out front and center on this video. Um, the moment I loaded into the lot, they ended up uh, falling out of love with each other. Um, and naturally, uh, I decided to just renovate their lot anyways and have them live together because I felt like that was kind of realistic. I kind of imagined they've been living in this house for a while. Um, and they're thinking about adopting a second daughter. If you didn't know, they already uh, adopted Mary Sue years ago. But, like, that's what I always end up doing. I have them adopt a daughter. Um, a lot of people do that, and then I kind of have Herb kind of sleep around because he's a romance sim. It's, it's, a, it's a whole situation. Um, but you might be thinking, if they fell out of love, why are they adopting a child? They, you shouldn't raise a child in that environment. And I agree. But also, it's kind of realistic, isn't it? Sadly. Um, I, I feel like they would want a daughter, a uh, Coral especially. Is her name Coral? I'm, I'm gonna check that. I'll, I'll be right back. Okay, through the magic of audio editing, I am back, and Coral is her name, which, um, when I think of Coral, I kind of think of a guy's name, but, like, that might be because I have a customer named Coral, it's just, but it sounds really masculine for me, which, 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 which isn't, like, an issue or whatever. Some people have masculine sound of names in their female, but, like, I don't know. It's just, I, I, I haven't seen many women named Coral. I think only her. And I just want to clarify, I work in fast food, and the only reason I know this man's name is because we had to ask for it, uh, because we let the customers go and, like, grab their drinks, and then they sit down, and we bring the food out to them, and sometimes when the dining room is crowded, uh, we cannot find them, so we have to, like, yell out their name. Uh, there's one guy who refuses to give us his name, and he says his name is Spider-Man. It's a whole thing. Um, it's not my favorite thing about the job, honestly, uh, but it is something we have to do. You know what? I'm going to rant about this a little bit more. Like, asking for the customer's name is so annoying. Because you do get the people who, like, give you attitude about it. Or there's people who, like, just... They they ask 20 questions before they give you the name. And it's just like, dude, I'm just trying to do my job. Um, the only time I don't ask them for the name is, like, when it's, like, 6 a.m. in the morning. And there's, like, only, like, one or two customers in diner. I'm not going to be chasing customers down when there's barely anyone in the dining room for their names I can remember their faces especially when it's only me working but like it's so annoying um but anyway uh back to the build I like I said I'm imagining that the oldies lived here for a while maybe raised Mary Sue in this house so I kind of wanted to make it look lived in in a way but also I feel like Coral would keep the house like fairly neat um I wanted it to be, like, you know, not the most updated of homes. Even though, like, I feel like if I were to walk into this home when The Sims 4 was released in 2004, it would look pretty up updated, you know, up to date. But a lot of the times when I think of, like, modern um, homes, I, I just think present day, even though I'm playing a game from 20 years ago. But anyway, that's the vibe I was going for. Um, I was struggling a lot with cheats in this house. I don't know why you'll see me pull up the, like, cheat console a lot. Um, well, at one point, like, further back in the video, like, the lighting was being weird and glitchy on me. Like, I don't know if you noticed that, but, um, when I deleted the objects, the lighting was fixed. So, it, it was weird. Like, the windows and, like, the cabinets were all, like, grayed out. And I was like, I've never seen that happen before. But it happened. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I, I actually had to pause the video and, like, close my game and download those kitchen cupboards. They're normally, like, always in my game, but for the past, like, six months, I haven't had them in my game. I don't know why, but they're back, and you're, you're gonna see them in, like, every single build, because, like, I'm obsessed with kitchens having cabinets. It's realistic, and they look, like um, empty without them. So when it comes to Sims 2 kitchens, I tend not to over decorate because Sims 2 kitchens can get unusable with too much clutter really, really quickly. And I do not want to deal with that. So I end up throwing down that, um, Sims 4 conversion of the chicken with the eggs. And I think it's the cutest thing ever. And I really think that, um, 
it suits the vibes, you know, it, it just, it's something you would see in most grandma's kitchens, and I view Coral as, you know, a grandmother, she is a grandmother, she's a grandmother of the Pleasant Twins, um, and I don't know, I, I, I felt like it suited the grandma vibe. Um, I'm not sure if I talked about this on my channel before, but I have given the Pleasant Twins makeovers on my TikTok, like, twice, and each time I got hate for it. Um, mainly for what I do with Lilith, because, like, I do not know how to style. I, I, I've seen goths before. Do I know how to style them? No. When I, when I think about goth custom con content in The Sims 2, they're either, like, too formal or, um... The quality just isn't there. Like, I like Maxis Match custom content. And and anything that looks good to me for, like, a gothic style tends not to be Maxis Match in a way that, like, I would want in my game. You know what I mean? Or, like, the quality just isn't there. And it's hard for me to find clothes that suit her. And anyways, the people with TikTok, they do not understand this. And they will, they're like, oh, well, what do you do to Lilith? Blah, 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 blah. It's just like, I don't know. Like, show me show me something. Show me someone who does Lilith well. Like, where's all the videos of you doing Lilith that's so much better than me? Because, like, I have a certain style in my game, right? And, like, I cannot find the right clothes for her. If I, like, I don't know. It's a whole thing. I, I'm still hurt that the people on TikTok bully me for how I dress a character. And I feel like if you want to do that... Do it with your chest and, like, do it in my video and show me something better so I have inspiration. Show me how to properly style her and I'll do it. But then again, if someone were to do that, I wouldn't want them to show me, like, a alpha sim and be like, yeah, this is how you properly do Lilith. It might be how you properly, you know, make her over in your game, but I like my Maxis match. Like, you know what I mean? Like, and I'm not even demanding people do this. It's just a little tangent I'm going on. Um, I personally don't see the point in commenting, oh, I don't like this or whatever on someone else's video. If I don't like something, I just scroll away. Um, I don't take time out of my day to waste my time and do things like that. But at the end of the day, it brings your, my engagement up on TikTok. So, um, the little controversial videos, I, I learn to appreciate in a way, you know? Um... It, it gets pushed out to the For You page, and the people who like it, like it, and the people who don't, don't. Now, you might be thinking, why are you putting a living room in a hallway? Well, where else am I supposed to put it? The the spare room is going to be a child's bedroom. They need their privacy. Um, and they're going to need a TV. I could have put it where the dining room is, but then they wouldn't have a dining room. And I feel like um, Coral would want to occasionally, you know, bring her family over and stuff like that. They need a nice little space to sit down and talk and pretend that toxic things aren't happening in their family. Uh, and potentially have arguments in this dining room and, you know, just... And then everything boils over and then it's a huge mess and, you know, it's just something that think has to happen. Anyway, moving along, we are working on the future daughter's room. Um, I say daughter, I normally have them adopt a daughter. Maybe I'll switch things up next time I play, who knows. But nine times out of ten, I have them adopt a daughter. Uh, but anyway, uh, I'm working on the room. I'm imagining that these, this used to be Mary Sue's room. Um, but obviously, like, the oldies have kind of cleaned it up and just, you know, made it more appealing for a potential child, uh, in their eyes. Like, they're kind of old, so they're not, like, hip and with it. But, you know, they did their best to make a nice, comfortable, private space for the child, which I respect because I think kids need that. Um, and then here I am struggling with the door because I don't understand how doors work in this game, and I never will. You know what bug I always get, and I never get people, I never hear people, like, talk about it? I get this bug where my sims walk through the door, and then the door does not close. It specifically happens on, like, the cheaper doors, too, 
and I have no idea why it happens to me. I, I might have to look into it and see if there's like a fix or something for that, but it annoys me so much. Uh, but yeah, here I am just trying to like build a little closet. I end up just going with like an open concept closet. Um, I actually had one of those in my rooms growing up. It wasn't like purposely open concept. It's just we never bothered to put a door on my closet and the previous owners of the home never did either. So I just had like my closet in my room. Um, it actually made like a cute little uh, experience for me because I had like a body pillow in the closet and like I just would like go in there and like hang out and read sometimes. It, it was nice. I, I liked hanging out in the closet. I feel like kids are drawn to small spaces like that anyways. Like obviously you don't put a kid under the stairwell and call it their bedroom. But sometimes having a small space you could just like hang out in and relax in and feel safe in is a good thing to have. Honestly, I wouldn't mind a space like that as an adult where like I could just like sit down in a small cozy space that's my own, nobody else's. And I could just like read or like go on my laptop, watch movies. Like it, it, it'd be like a nice little thing I could have in my future home um, that I definitely would want to look into if I had the space for it because I feel like it's important. I've been into reading more lately. Uh, not so much physical books, oddly enough. I've been reading a lot on my phone. Maybe I should get a Kindle. Who knows? Um, we'll cross that bridge when it comes to it. Uh, I also been listening to audiobooks, but that's mainly because I like listening to something when I'm building. Um, it's either a podcast or audiobooks, whatever I'm in the mood for. If you have any, like, recommendations for audiobooks, I have, like, a bunch of, like, audio, audible credits, like, available, and I'm looking for more books to read. So, uh, definitely let me know that. But anyway, here I am just finishing up the oldies bedroom. Um, I'm not doing anything, like, super modern in here, obviously. I don't think they, um, suit the modern vibe. And, uh... <laughs> They don't want to do anything fresh in the bedroom. Well, maybe, <laughs> maybe Herb does because he's a romance sim. But yeah, you know, nothing super exciting. And also I kept having to like add funds to the um, household because I didn't want the house to be empty. A lot of times with Max's made homes and now even like EA made homes, they're too empty for my liking. And I just, I want houses to be decorated. So that's what I'm going for here. That's like the whole point of like renovating all these houses on my YouTube channel. It's just I want to be able to play the game but have my sims be in decorated houses. You know, that's the vibe. So that's why I'm going through and decorating every single lot in this save. Anyways, I'm not sure what lot I'm going to renovate next. And when I say renovate, I either mean bulldoze or renovate. Uh, it just depends on what house I'm going to do. I was thinking of potentially remaking the goth home. But that's also going to be like a big project and I'm kind of like intimidated by that. But if you want to see that, let me know if you want or if you want to see any other household in Pleasant View or maybe even downtown get renovated, you can let me know. Um, Obviously, there's no like households in downtown, but like I could put a sim in there and renovate a house. I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with downtown yet. We'll also cross that bridge when we come to it. But we are getting towards the end of the video. If you liked it, please give it a like, uh, comment, subscribe, do all that fun YouTube things that I'm supposed to say at the end of the video. I, I don't know how to end these things. We're going into some screenshots now. So thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye guys.